1,281 days in the making. This is the OnePlus 5. This is Apple Tech Beast, finally back with another video. The OnePlus 5 was announced yesterday. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but I have had the OnePlus 2 uh, since about launch. Um, I did an unboxing video on it, but not a review. But I have absolutely loved every minute of owning this phone. So, supposedly, the most important factor for the OnePlus 5 was design, not specs. Apparently. <laughs> Six to eight gigabytes of RAM in a phone. Still can't get over that. This phone has four gigabytes of RAM and I can't believe that. You get the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 CPU up to 2.45 gigahertz, which is an absolute monster of a CPU. You also get Dash Charge, which you get in the OnePlus 3T, maybe in the 3 as well, uh, which basically allows you to charge your phone up to a day's worth of battery life in half an hour. That's, that's what they say. So as you may have seen, uh, the tagline for the OnePlus 5 is... Dual camera, clearer photos, I think. Possibly. I haven't got it in front of me right now, so I can't quite remember. But the camera is the focus of the device. So it has dual cameras exactly like the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, it's got a Sony sensor inside, as the iPhone 7 Plus does, but apparently it's a completely custom sensor for OnePlus. And this basically allows you to have... Um, you have the telephoto functionality, like in the iPhone 7 Plus. You also have better HDR capabilities, quicker autofocus. It's fast AF. You also have the depth of field effect like in the iPhone 7 Plus as well. Uh, so the two cameras allows it to sense depth better. Don't quite know how it works, but it senses depth and then the software can blur out the background pretty much. Talking about high depth of field, the primary camera has an f1.7 aperture, uh, which is pretty impressive. Smartphone cameras are obviously very wide, um, so you won't get the same effect as like my 1.8 here on my DSLR, but it still looks really nice um, and I'm sure clear as they say it will be. So that f1.7 primary camera is actually 16 megapixels, and then you have a 20 megapixel telephoto sensor in the other lens, which seems a bit backwards to me, because the primary camera, I don't know, there'll be a valid reason for it, and I'm sure it'll look very, uh, very good. So the dual camera system is actually the highest resolution dual camera system on any smartphone, uh, which is quite impressive, and again, I'm sure it'll look really, really good. OnePlus have also added um, different features into Oxygen OS, uh, which basically allow you to have reading modes, so the phone can sense the light uh, and the sort of white balance of the room you're in and change the colour of the display uh, accordingly. So other features they've added within Oxygen OS are things like a transparent app drawer to make it feel more integrated within the operating system. You've also got expanded screenshots, as you have with like the Galaxy S8 and possibly the iPhone 7 as well. So that's where you screenshot a, a page and it will the phone will actually scroll for you uh, through the page and you tell it when to stop. And then it will save a really long screenshot so you can see everything that was on that page you were reading. You've also got lower input lag, which I think they've done through the CPU and uh, possibly the new Adreno 540 uh, GPU. I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me on that. Um, but they've got a new GPU to make all the graphics way better. Uh, so that includes games as well. So the OnePlus 5 only comes in two different colours. It comes in matte black, which is kind of off black. It's not really, really black like the uh, jet black iPhone 7. And then you have a grey. So black and grey. Not the most creative of colours, but apparently they're really nice. They mentioned focusing a lot on detail of the design. Uh, so I assume it'll be a really, really nice phone to sort of look at and hold. But yeah, two colours and 64 and 128 gigabyte variants. So 64 for the uh, grey version and 128 for the black. The screen on the OnePlus 5 is a 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED display. So they haven't changed it since the OnePlus 3, um, but I don't mind. 1080p is still very, very good. I don't, I don't have a problem with it because it makes the battery last longer. It makes everything run smoother. The resolution is still good. It's not like bad. You can't, you can barely see the pixels anyway. And if it's AMOLED, you get those crazy deep blacks and the really saturated colours as well. So I haven't got a problem with it. I know some people have and they'll compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S8 and say that it's got a 4K display or whatever. But I personally don't mind that it's 1080p. Maybe with the next OnePlus we should see a 1440p display or something a bit more, but I'm not that fussed at the moment. You also have Bluetooth 5.0, uh, which sounds like the most up-to-date version of Bluetooth, but I'm not certain on that. Uh, that's just what they said. And then you also have NFC, which they have with the OnePlus 3, uh, but not with the OnePlus 2, uh, as I found out. So I can't use Android Pay or anything. 
Um, so yeah, that's a nice feature to have, but for 500 quid, you'd kind of expect that. OnePlus brought their phone on stage with a dog. A dog brought the phone on stage with a backpack on. I mean, how much better can you get? So yeah, that dog was actually wearing one of the OnePlus rucksacks as well. It's part of a new accessory line that they've released. Uh, so they're actually making loads of different types of rucksacks for humans, not just dogs. As well as cases from Otterbox, so they've teamed up with them uh, to make really uh, good, long-lasting cases, including all the cool carbon fibre effect cases like I've got on the back of my OnePlus 2. The OnePlus 5 is the thinnest OnePlus phone ever, partially the reason for the lower battery capacity, uh, which doesn't affect their life, so that doesn't really matter, but it's 7.25mm thin, uh, which I'm sure feels really, really nice in the hand because it's all metal and glass. It also has the alert slider, which is a really, really useful feature uh, as has been a thing from the OnePlus 2. Uh, so you've got three different stages of uh, sort of alert um, stages. That made no sense but yeah you can basically put the phone on full mute uh, or you can have it on just priority notifications or fully unmuted. They also joked about having no headphone jack. Uh, I got very very scared for a second because I saw... And who needs a headphone jack anyway? That's why Bluetooth exists right? Just kidding. Of course the OnePlus 5 had a headphone jack. And that is just about it for the OnePlus 5 launch. So if you didn't already hear, the phone will be $479 in the US or €499 Euros in the uh, in Europe, uh, which is about £470, I think. Uh, so obviously the UK gets the worst uh, deal. And the phone will be available to buy for everyone on June the 27th. So you won't need an invite like with the OnePlus 1 and 2. You can just go ahead and buy it. But yeah, that was my video on the OnePlus 5 launch. I've got content upcoming already in the editor. I just wanted to get this video up very, very quickly because obviously it's new. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, goodbye.